Well, a good weekend to you. Labor Day weekend. I'm meteorologist John Dawson. This is the Fox 26 Tropical Update just for YouTube, and we want to make sure that you're aware of what's happening out there in the tropics. And it's kind of very similar to what we've seen. Uh, good news as far as that area uh, that we've been watching down in the far southern Gulf and the good news meaning it doesn't really look like it wants to do anything. So the longer it doesn't really want to do anything, I think that's probably some good news. Not a lot of change from the National Hurricane Center on their expectations of uh, area of invest 91 L. And we'll take a look at that, uh, of course, here uh, to start with, as a matter of fact, because we've been this area that's right off the west coast now of the Yucatan. Peninsula uh, really just hasn't done a whole lot and the upper level winds are really going to prevent it from doing much, but Hurricane Center is still saying there's a 30% chance over five days. So yesterday we were saying it won't do anything for two days. The day before that we were saying it won't do anything for at least two days. And so we still think it won't do anything for at least two days. But eventually when we get a little bit further down into the week, uh, possibly in this general area, which of course is more or less the east central and eastern portions of the Gulf, there could be something that would develop. And we're going to take a look at one of our computer models here in a minute, which Again, kind of struggling all around to try to make something of this, and that's all good news because uh, we're not wanting anything develop. That's for sure. So again, as I mentioned, here's kind of where it's located, popping in there just off of the coast, disorganized shower activity. We've been talking about this high pressure uh, that's been sort of moving around the Texas coast just a little bit, helping to kind of protect our coast from anything that might want to develop. We talked about the upper level winds that aren't very favorable. Well, one other factor that we haven't discussed a whole lot is another one of these steering components. This is going to be a weak front, uh, but it's going to uh, make a little bit of a difference, at least here in Houston, as far as uh, the temperature goes very little, but it will bring us uh, a little bit of rain chances on Monday. But when it looks in a tropical sense, remember the, the hurricanes, they're big and nasty and they're strong or any sort of tropical systems, but they really just like to go the, the easiest path possible, and they're not going to try to plow through a boundary like this. So most likely what's going to happen is as this front gets a little bit closer and again you, you'll see how that keeps its shape basically that diagonal line across uh, our, the, the US as the as the system would come up it would sort of bounce and roll up beside it there and that's kind of why we're looking for anything to develop if it were to develop to head over towards the eastern side of things and not uh, really come over to the the um, the western Gulf and of course that would include southeast Texas. Now, when we look at the water temperatures, though, still very favorable for any sort of development. So while the winds are fighting it right now, the water is definitely going to be helpful. Although we do have a little bit of cooler water over uh, in the eastern side of things, which that would be good to keep a storm from developing. And again, this is the area that we think it might develop. So that's going to be somewhat beneficial. Here's the GFS model, and again, we have to really struggle to kind of find where an area of low pressure would be. I kind of having to put this in, draw this in myself here with the L to kind of show more or less where something could uh, be getting a little bit better organized. And then when it hits that boundary, it starts to slide over a little bit more. And again, maybe getting a little bit more organization, but really not seeing uh, any anything even more organized until we get to the end of the week and maybe even waiting till it gets out into the Atlantic. So something to keep watching. But as we talked about, at least for a couple days, it is expected to be quiet. Now, Larry is still out in the Atlantic where we expected it. No big changes there, except it's just steady as it goes for Larry because keeping its category three strength, not interfering with anybody. And as we get a little bit into some cooler water and northern latitudes starting to speed up a little bit and still looking like it'll avoid the the northeast of the US and po possibly impacts some of Canada. But once you get up here and it starts getting cooler, it's again sort of pushing itself. That front might even begin to push it a little bit more further to the east, sort of taking that out of a uh, of, of, a, of a, a threat for sure to any land uh, whatsoever. And we're moving into the peak of hurricane season. We sometimes take a look at this graph and it seems like we're always in June or maybe August when we're looking ahead for the peak of hurricane season, which is September the 10th. We're days away from it now. For us here in Houston, this is for the entire Atlantic Basin. For us here in Houston, 
we're really kind of past our peak. You know, we sort of are just sped up just a little bit more than the entire Atlantic Basin. So if we were doing this just for Southeast Texas, we'd probably take this peak and push it back a week, maybe 10 days, because uh, statistically we start getting, again, these possibilities of these fronts that kind of start moving in. And that sort of really helps us and sort of really, again, kind of deters anything from headed our direction. So again, while we're looking at uh, you know the, the formation more or less in the entire Atlantic Basin as far as an impact goes uh, we're kind of beginning to get on the backside a little bit uh, of what we'd expect here in the Houston area this is of course formation for the entire Atlantic Basin and that peak is definitely coming upon us hope you're following me on the other uh, social media platforms at John Dawson Fox 26. I'm here on YouTube as well with all of my hurricane gear tests. If you want to look for meteorologist John Dawson, that's an easier way to find me on YouTube. But uh, at John Dawson Fox 26 is how you'll want to search me for uh, Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. And of course, get that Fox 26 app, the weather app on your phone. You'll be able to get not just the 10 day forecast and the tropical information, but we're also putting just our video forecast on there because sometimes it's just nice to have somebody talk to you a little bit and explain what the forecast looks like and not always just kind of looking at the numbers. They can kind of mislead you a little bit. So we'll keep you updated on the tropics here on YouTube. Make sure and join us again for tomorrow.